Good morning, folks. We're starting with something becoming all too common, the environmental harm of allegedly green initiatives. This is just like the revelation that you might use less gasoline in a tiny hybrid, but the materials used to make it and the breakdown over time of the battery make the overall proposition more costly to the environment than an Escalade, just not while you're driving it. Does it seem as though more and more scientists and more and more groups are questioning the genesis of climate change? The latest is the American Physical Society, who reviews their climate change position periodically, but who for the first time included prominent skeptics of the current story. Two of the six experts on their review panel were featured in my speech at the conference last week. The group has 50,000 physicists. While individuals jump ship from the IPCC and NASA stories, and various other long-standing pushers of the green agenda. Others are exposing the types of political and economic backhandedness that allow what essentially amounts to climate brainwashing to occur. We all know the Beale story, but probably not how he played the climate game in his own agenda, in addition to lying about being a CIA agent and bilking the taxpayers for years. As I share more heartbreak here, let the disclaimer fly once more. We're 100% anti-pollution here, just not because of the climate. It's because of the poison. The flora and fauna of this earth are our responsibility. It's just that the climate is changing because of the sun. Kicking to the global weather where most of you are watching, starting down under where that same hooking convergence from a southern low brings rain and thunderstorm potential over and up along the coastline. Meanwhile, the western portion of Australia isn't out of the woods yet. The models do keep showing a swing out to sea of Jillian's remnants, but Apparently the storm wants to get a closer look for airplane wreckage after being alive for an entire month. Spot of chill for parts of the UK on that multi-low system there. We're getting much more longitudinal surface drive than west to east. That's driving the temperature differentials and it's still reinforced and fed by that high pressure cell to the southwest in white. In the US, it's mostly a coastal concern day. Atlantic low is mixing its moisture with Canadian cold for a snowstorm today along this area up the coast. Meanwhile, out west, we see the same reinforcing wind drive where high and low pressure meet, funneling that moisture towards and north along the coastline for stronger weather towards the northwest. Solar wind speed dropping off considerably with only a minor increase in density. The sensitive electron flux and magnetometer are showing that calming stream of particles. So, what's with the proton flux blip? It certainly wasn't any major solar flaring or anything in the solar wind. In fact, the only thing one can imagine is that the tiny sea flares we took flashing on this limb hit the magnetic connection to our star right on the dot. If that occurred, we may have seen some temporary surges in solar energetic particles to Earth's polar region. It's iffy, but I see nothing else possible. Sunspots? right to left across the disk. Departing sunspots have complexity. The lead still is that awkward bipolar loner, hasn't produced much. Such a good mix of blue and red umbral cores here though will still call delta as they spin out of sight. Meanwhile, the group caught out yesterday has decayed in a big way. No delta spots anymore, only a tiny bit of potential at the back side. Finally, the incoming group up north needs to grow a lot and mix its umbras. She's got time as she faces earth the next few days. The coronal hold down south, still strong as they come down there, but the northern extension of it, the one facing Earth, is of moderate power only. Chile continuing to take the top spot with a full day of moderate foreshocking. Let's hope for calm there and end with some shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.